well it's a big welcome from Bay Lakes in France we've come down for the week we've got a lake exclusive on Lake One it's a bit of a carper social there's myself, Ben, Ken, Chris Hoskins, James Willoughby, Ed and Nick Malbum just to tell you about the peggings uh, we had a draw uh, myself, Ben and Ken got the road side of the lake and the other lads got the other side of the lake so the peggings, we've got Chris Hoskins in peg one which is over in the corner by the uh, cabin and then we've got James Willoughby, peg two and then we've got Ed in peg three, that did really well last week and in peg four we've got Nick Malbon across onto our bank we've got Ben down in peg seven, myself in peg eight and Ken in peg nine like I said, rear for the week, we brought all brought with us this new bottom bait that's going to be released from from ourselves at Carper. It's called Carper RS. It's going to be available in size 14 and 16s. Me and Ben have had a real good hit of fish with this bait in March. We came across to France, we fished uh, Moulin Passé, and uh, we had 18 fish in just under 72 hours. And in the previous week, there were ice on the lake. Included in that catch, we had three forties, and uh, one of those was uh, a catch from myself, the uh, largest resident in the lake. A stunning common, as you know, I like my commons. So that's enough for me. A little bit of an intro. So we'll get back to you very shortly, and hopefully we're put, putting lots of fish on the bank for you. See you soon. Just come right, Ken swim now, comes into his first fish. It's been a stunning day today. Just as the sun goes down, came around with us and his rod absolutely ripped off. Close. Getting close now. So this could be the first fish at Bay Lakes. Looks like a nice fish. Leads dropped off, very, very weedy. Looks a nice fish. Well done, Ken. Yay! <laughs> Ken's first fish now. 43 pounds. Maybe 43 eight on that, Ken. 43 eight. Mirror. Well pleased with this first fish of the uh, session. Uh, taken on a snowman rig with an RS bottom bait and an RS red fluoro pop up on top. 43 and a half pound. What an amazing start to a great week at Bay Lakes. My first one of the session um, at Bay Lakes here in France, a 22 pan bang on the nose. And then this one fell to a 14 mil chop mint uh, fished on a Ronnie rig um, over a bed of uh, just over a bed of RS boilers, actually. Um, yeah, well chuffed with that. First one, first one of the account, and uh, yeah, hopefully a few more. Well done, mate. You're off the mark with the ultra flow row. It was ultra flow row chop mint that came to on a white white ultra flow row chop mint. Good lad. Another Carper RS boily victim at Bay Lakes. Second fish, 33 pound 10, taken on a snowman combination with a white RS tipping the top, top of the bait. Um, great result. Uh, 
two, two fish so far. Well happy with that. Nick's into a fish over on the uh, other bank. Well just got it in the net. Well done, Nick! <laughs> the pressure's off Nick now. Ben's just lost one, has been done. So it's like fish are going on a little bit of a feeding frenzy. So that's Nick off the mark. Chris is into his first fish of the trip. Ripped off. My heart is pumping. <laughs> First fish of the session, this lovely common, 29 pound 12 ounce, fall into the carpet, ultra fluoro RS pop up, over a bed of the RS, and the stream has soaked in RS energizer. Lovely start, let's get him back. He's moving now, he ain't weak, just keep him going mate, just keep him. Yeah, yeah, just keep him going. Yeah, yeah, no, but he's still moving, the main thing is he ain't got his head down and like locks on the bottom. They're kicking crocs off lad and going down. I always let you wear Don't get that, I've got crocs on my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The croc man. Oh you absolute swine. The man that never said he'd get some crocs has bought the top of the range leather crocs. That's why I got them because the leather, they're not the, the standard rubber from what you were. And the dak, the guru <laughs> sticking his foot in. <laughs> nah, I'll take that back because Ken's a legend. <laughs> a legend. <laughs> and I've got my Aldi specials, 2 98 <laughs>
Well done, that man. <laughs> <laughs> we have a second fish of the session now, uh, on my first full day on Bay Lakes. Um, been out about, I don't know, probably about an hour, uh, well, uh, on a spot I found out there in the weed. Um, bed of RS with some pellet and an energizer. And uh, yeah, this went on a multi rig with a um, RS Ultra Fluoro White pop up 14mm. Uh, tore off and uh, got in the weed, but yeah, managed to get out and uh, well chuffed. 28 pounder on the nose. Chris now into his second fish. We're just having his breakfast and uh, it tore off. Unfortunately, Chris has lost his breakfast. <laughs> I actually finished mine, so did Ken. Well done, Chris. Well done. Well, that's not well me. Uh, breakfast wasted. It's like a shark. Yeah. Look at that. RS fluoro pop up. So you want some wider, wide fish out there? Yeah. Look, it, didn't, well, it didn't look actually that big, that one. Yeah. Right, it looks it like a, a, a mid double. Mid double, didn't it? Yeah. But they were um, very wide. Well done, well, Chris. Cheers, yeah, mate. Well done, that man. So it's fish number two of the session, this cracking mirror weighing in at 31 pound 10 ounce yeah. fall into the carpet, ultra fluoro RS pop up again over a bed of streamers and a bed of RS Rod absolutely tore off and I missed me finishing my breakfast but never mind Well there's a new PB on the bank so we need to head over to the other side of the lake and over to Chris in Peg One and let's go look at his new PB. Well done Chris. Nice one Chris. Perfect. How much it weigh Chris? 42 pound bang on. That was thought on a on a new range, the RS Wafter or Wafter. Brilliant mate, great result, well done. Over the moon, new PB. Brilliant. My third fish now of my, of my session. Um, 30, what was it, 3412? Yeah. 3412 right old warrior, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, first mirror crap of the session, and this one fell to um, an RS snowman. Um, it was uh, topped with an RS Ultra Fluoro red pop up. Feels heavier than 34, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah. I think it might be spawned out, but yeah, well happy with it. First mirror of the session, here's to some more. <laughs> 
So this is my uh, my fourth fish now the session. Um, 24 4 uh, common. Fell to uh, coconut old fluoral pink, some that we're testing, so there we go. Um, over my bird of RS um, on the spot now, I've pretty much all the fish off. So. Lee, the owner of Bay Lakes, has kindly let us bring his drone and use his drone. Um, obviously keeping it well away from these pylons that go straight through the middle of the complex. But just check this footage out that we've got of some of the fish that are down in that bottom bay where they've been spawning earlier. Absolutely epic, there's some right lumps down there. Check this footage out. Here we go, third fish of the session so far. Uh, nice common carp, 32 pound, 12. Uh, caught on a snowman presentation using an RS bottom bait and an RS red ultra fluoro uh, pop-up on top. Doing the business again. So this is my uh, my fifth fish now of the session. Um, 30 pound, 12 ounce common. Um, it had all slowed down a little bit in the swim, so I changed my hook bait to a, uh, a match the hatch, RS match the hatch uh, pop up. And uh, yeah, it's been out there about, I'd probably say about an hour, or a bit of RS, and it's just absolutely tore off with this really angry common. I'm well chuffed with this one, it's probably one of my favorite ones of the session so far. Six fish of the session, uh, 29.15, common. Uh, felt we, uh, the uh, snowman rig with the ultra floral pink coconut, and uh, it's venting the RS out as we as we film it now, all over my hand and in the net. It has been having a right all munch. Well happy.
So here we are, it's, uh, fish number seven now. Um, this one fell again to the uh, match the hatch pop up, 40 mil pop up on a, on a multi rig. Um, again, over bed of RS, they just seem to be loving it and coming back for more and more and more. I can't be happier to be honest with you. So, eighth fish of the session now for me. Uh, 30 pound 10 ounce hard fighting common, well chuffed with it. Uh, this fell to the um, a snowman rig with a RS bottom bit and a ultra plural RS white topper. Um, yeah, they're really having it, venting it out in the sling. I'm well happy with this one. We've just walked around to Wills's peg now. Wills is off the mark with a stunning 29 pound 12 ounce common, a new PB. How do you feel, Wills? Buzzing. Buzzing. Totally and what, buzzing. what did that take? Uh, RS dispersion over a bit of RS, maybe a kilo if that. Um, yeah, snowman style basically. Dead simple. Brilliant. And you found a nice clear spot, yeah? Yeah. So fish number nine now, the session for myself. Uh, I've just put this on, a, found a new spot. Uh, put my third rod on it, um, and that went on the uh, Kappa Ultra Fluor RS uh, white pop-up on a multi-rig, um, and it's a 29.7. Well happy with it. Number 10 now, the session for myself. Um, this one falling to um, multi rig with um, ultra fluoro white coconut um, over a bed of RS again. Um, yep, this is off a new spot, and this is the second fish off my new spot. This is my third fish of the session. I've had to wait some time for this one, just over 30 hours, so I'm really happy. This uh, fell to the red RS Ultra Fluoro over a bed of the RS. Made up with this fish. Just literally been filming Ben for the last 30 odd hours. Lads smashing it in the peg next to me. So I'm really happy to get this on the bank. Weighing 29 pound, 11 ounce. Well happy. Let's get him back and hopefully there's some more out there on the spot. Fisher session now for me, uh, 22 pound 7 ounce common. Uh, this came on an ultra fluoro pink coconut on a multi rig. Um, usual tactics of a bed of RS. Um, didn't think it was going to happen to be honest with you because the fish have started spawning. Uh, yeah, there's obviously a few still, still up for a feed. So, fish number 13 now this session for me, I can't quite believe it to be honest with you, it's going far too well, unbelievable. Uh, this fell to uh, ultra fluoro pink coconut. Um, again on a multi rig, um, I'm just like with the, the RS uh, on, on the spots I've found. Yeah, absolute hard fighting common, really did go for it. Well, for this one. Just to give you a little bit of an update on the session, then, thankfully everybody's caught, so we're all off the mark with a, with a couple of fish each at least, apart from Ben. Yeah. Ben, as, you, as you've seen, is absolutely smashing it. He's on 13 fish now, so massive well done, Ben. The, the lad is on fire, top angling. He says that it's a look at a draw, but you know, you've still got to get in there, find your clear spots and get them out. So really, really pleased for you, Ben. Well done, mate, well done. So, if I'd have taken then, that'd have been nice, wouldn't it? So, throw me off as that. That little take, never mind. Were it a take, or were it just something in the edge, or were it some weed? Might have been coming boshing out of Ben's swim and disturbing all the weed. I don't know.
Yet again, there's another PB on the bank and it's over on that other side again, but this time it's in peg two. So let's go see Wills and let's have a look at his new PB. Well done Wills, top angling mate, I knew they'd come. Perseverance pays off, well done buddy, really, really chuffed for you. So we're back round with Wills now, this is his third fish of the session. He's had one out in night, so lad's on fire now. Tell us a little about this fish, Wills. New PB? New PB, 32-2. Yeah. Over a bed of iris. Yeah. Stunning mate, stunning fish. Well done mate, well done. Fish number 14 now for the session for myself. Uh, fantastic looking mirror. 32.6. Uh, um, Carper uh, match the hatch pop up, RS pop up on the multi rig again. Uh, it's oozing RS out of it in the, in the sling. Uh, they absolutely tore off this, this fish. I'm, I'm, this, I think probably my favourite fish of the session so far. Fish number 15, now the session for me, uh, 31 pound, two ounce, hard fighting mirror, um, this came on ultra fluoro coconut white, uh, 14 mil on, an, on a multi rig again, again over a bed of RS, same spot, it just seems to be tearing it up, this was a real hard fighter. This was my fish, please. <laughs> Don't come. <laughs> well, this is my fourth fish of the session now. Rod's just ripped off. Snowman style presentation. RS bottom bait tip with it. my ever faithful ultra white carper coconut pop up. Tipping the scales at 35 pound, 12 ounce. Stunning common, really happy to get this one on the bank after yesterday losing one literally two foot from the bank. So this is really good. Let's get this one back and let's see if they're on the munch. And finally moving out of Ben's swim. I'm coming down here so me and Ken can have some action. Whatever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, <laughs> uh, fish number 17 now the session for me. Um, it's been a slow day to day. Um, the heat has been really hot. Um, didn't think the bite was going to come. And uh, yeah, came with tea time again when I've had a few runs and it, it tore off. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go now, right? Yeah. Well, I thought I'd try a bit more to it rather than just. Yeah, this is this, this is that. I've had it on this. <sighs> bit of walking. Stop sighing as well. well you've got 17 fish and you're going. I'm, I'm in bits, man. <laughs> <laughs> we're back. We're you're sure. in bits. Oh, sure. I think me. We're <laughs> back. Have you ever had 17 <laughs> fish in your lap? I'm in bits. I mean, I'm fucking hacking it, man. Have you do not like lift, lift it higher? Yeah. Lift it higher. <laughs> yeah. Right. Fish number 17 now for me for this session. Um, it's been a slow day today, been really hot. I um, didn't think the bites were going to come to be honest with you. Um, this one's come up in the most productive spot. Um, again at tea time, I've had quite a few this time of night. Um, just whilst we were chucking it was burger. Um, 
33-4, um, hard fighting common. Um, well chuffed listen, this came on the Ultra Fluoro Red uh, RS pop-up on a, on a multi-rig again. So nearly five days into the session and I've finally uh, got my first daytime bite. All my bites seem to be coming at night at the moment. Um, primed a new spot for two days and then I've had two bites off it, one in the night and one this morning. This one goes 23 pound. It was taken on a RS uh, snowman using the dumbbell wafters to just balance it out nicely. Well happy with this one, even though it did disturb our breakfast. Fish number 19 now for me of the session, 27 pound four, common. Um, this one fell to a test bait that we're using, um, on a, again on a multi-rig, and uh, yeah, I'm well happy with it, it's brilliant, just absolutely tore off. What about you, Mr. Dak? Yeah, and this one's uh, 35 pound nine, well happy because I just had a take, and uh, just getting my rig back on the other rod, and the other rod's gone off, and um, yeah, it's taken on the RS again, um, with a fluoro coconut pop-up on the top, ultra fluoro, and uh, well happy with this, weeded me up twice but got it out and uh, well pleased for the morning's work. Well done boys. Thank you. So whilst Ben was resting his swim, we decided to take the water wolf out and drop the uh, camera and just film what was going on down in this swim. And as you can see, it didn't take long for the cart to come back and uh, start ripping his spot up. Uh, just tell you a bit about the RS. Well, it's a bird food stroke fish meal based bait uh, that does contain a very, very high percentage of, uh, of robin red. It's currently available in 16 mil but we'll shortly be doing the 14 mil as well. And just remember that it is a freezer bait. So the RS is flavoured with a, a low level fruit based flavour, uh, which we do pre-blend to our own spec. Uh, the base mix from which the RS is made, we do it in two stages. This is so we can blend the attractor package and then the bulk ingredients separately. Uh, once we've done this, we then leave it for up to four to six weeks. Uh, to allow it all to permeate through the whole of the base mix. Uh, this then creates a super consistent base mix, uh, which we then blend with liquid attractors, which produces the RS. And, uh, and this bait will catch fish from any water. And as you can see, they absolutely love this bait, and they just keep coming back, coming back, and just ripping, ripping Ben's spot up. Uh, so I'll let you watch this. This is obviously down in Ben's swim, ripping it to bits, well done Ben, 
Uh, you really did get your feeding uh, strategy spot on for this session. Uh, just proved that you just kept coming back, coming back, and uh, just wanting more, more bait. Super session, mate. Well done. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog. Fish number 20, 28.8, common, I'm a broken man, I'm a session of a lifetime if I'm perfectly honest with you, it's fish after fish, um, and I think it's come on a rig that's been sat there for quite a while actually, it was a snowman rig, 16mm uh, RS bomb bait with a 14mm um, match the hatch RS uh, pop up, um, well just to be fair I was just about to bring it in, I uh, thought the spot had gone dead and it absolutely just tore off. I um, thought it was bigger than it was, I think it's quite spawned out to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I'm well happy with it, it's absolutely beautiful. What a session. Right, so just bobbed round to West Peg has got a new PB of £41. Is that right, Ed? One pound bang on, and what did that take it? Uh, 12 mils, garlic, nice one. Is that on your new spotted margin? Stunning, stunning fish, mate. Nick, Nick's gonna do the honours, new PB, mate. Well done. <laughs> Right, a bit of an update for you. So as you've seen, Ben's absolutely smashing it just to the right of me. He's on 20 fish now. And uh, he really is ripping it up. He just keep coming back, coming back. So he's having a really good session. Ken's had a couple more, puts him on six fish. And Ed and Nick have had a couple more fish as well. Sadly, I just can't get these fish going again at the minute. My spots have dried up, so I've, uh, I've had the marker rod out. Found uh, a nice big clear spot, 14 and a half wraps out. So I've uh, put a bit of bait on that, and I've uh, re put my rods back out. So let's see what that goes, and I'll just rest the spot that I've had all my fish off. Uh, that was uh, 18 wraps. So let's just uh, try and a little bit closer with him. So fingers crossed they come back, and I'm able to catch some more fish. We're having a fantastic time. Sun's out, it's red hot. Fish, 
seem to have stopped spawning, which is good news. Um, probably been a good 24, 36 hours now where we've not seen them spawning, so hopefully they're going to come on the munch soon. So you never know. I might still have an epic session yet, enjoying Ben at the top. They've certainly got top run at the minute, fished it excellently, baiting strategy's been spot on, so a big well done Ben. You're doing really well mate, session of a lifetime. Kenda, the master chef, cooking for the lads, again. This is fish number five now, I've had to wait a long time for this, 48 hours I think. But anyway, the rod's ripped off this morning. This lovely mirror, weighing 25 pound, two ounce, falling to the Capra Ultra Fluoro RS Red pop-up. It's done me proud as that pop-up this week, banking I think majority of my fish. But anyway, very, very welcome fish. So we have fish number six now, lovely mirror, 33 pound dead. Falling at 4.30 in the morning to the Carper Ultra Fluoro RS Pink pop-up. Again over a bed of RS, rod ripped off. Well happened, first fish in the dark as well. Well the session is drawing to a close now, we've literally got an hour left, we're just slowly packing down, putting the tackle back in the back of the van and going to head back to the UK. We've had a fantastic week over at Bay Lakes, we've got some fantastic overhead footage from the drone that you've seen, it just shows the amount of fish that were down in that bottom bay, it's a staggering amount, There's some real big lumps as well. But top rod goes to Ben, 21 fish I think is finished on, we've still got an hour to go, great angling Ben. Two new PBs, Chris Hoskins with a 43 mirror, and then Ed did a dying death with a 41 pound common. Fantastic, it's great to see new PBs broken. But all in all, it's been a fantastic week. So until next time, see you later. Uh, fish number 22 for me. Uh, what a way to finish, last knockings. Uh, sat the road on the deck and it just tore off all the packing my gear up. 27 pounds, 12 ounce, common, um, well chuffed, uh, what a week it's been, it's been unbelievable, absolutely fantastic, and this went on a, uh, a match the hatch again, it's been doing me the business over the last uh, sort of 48 hours. And then my rod, literally seconds to go, I was going to put it in the back of the van, it's ripped off, a lovely 31 pound, 15 ounce mirror, falling again to the Kappa Ultra Fluoro RS Red pop up. Awesome, what an end, just goes to show, leave your rods in right till the last minute. What us, a week it's been, hey, yeah. it's been amazing. From us at Bay Lakes. Yeah, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs>